Okay, the next thing we're going to talk about is calcium channel blockers. So, nifedipine, nicardipine, verepamil. So, let's look at the uh, case example. Okay, and I am looking at uh, Kindle, looking at Lang pharmacology cards. The 64 year old male presents to your office as a new patient. He was referred to your practice after he was recently seen in the emergency room for hypertension. He was sent home from the emergency room on a diuretic to treat his hypertension. His past medical history is also significant for chronic renal insufficiency. In your office, his physical examination is significant uh, for blood pressure, uh, 160 over 96, with a pulse of 90. Given his elevated blood pressure, you decide to start this patient on an antihypertensive agent that will not affect his renal insufficiency. So you give him a calcium channel blocker. So similar drugs here, nifedipine, nicardipine, um, amlodipine, as well as the class 4 antiarrhythmic agents, verepamil and uh, diletiazem. Uh, mechanism of action. They act by blocking the voltage-gated calcium channels of cardiac and vascular smooth muscle, thereby inhibiting the flow of calcium into the cells. This leads to the, the decreased muscle contraction and resulting peripheral vasodilation and decreased myocardial contractility. Clinical uses treatment of hypertension. Um, Prins uh, and Prins metal angina. Verapamil and dilatiazem are also used to treat supraventricular tachycardias. Side effects, bradycardia and heart block. So this is for verapamil and dilatiazem. Hypotension, peripheral edema. That's with uh, amlopidine uh, and lopidipine. Use, uh, in, ca use in caution uh, in patients with decreased inject ejection fractions because of negative enotropic effects on calcium channel blockers. Excuse me. Negative enotropic effects of calcium channel blockers. So the enotropic effect means that it's increasing the contractility of the heart. But this is doing the opposite. So other nifedipine, nicardipine, and amlodipine have a greater effect on vascular smooth muscle as opposed to cardiac tissue. Well, verapamil has a greater effect on cardiac tissue uh, as opposed to vascular smooth tissue. And I think about it like verapamil, like a mill sounds like a big working plant that works in the heart, whereas the nic nicardipine, epidipine, uh, sounds kind of small with that peen sound like it's working on the uh, vascular smooth muscle, whereas verapamil is working on the cardiac tissue, which is a, I feel it sounds like it's a bigger area, stronger area. So, calcium channel blockers, treatment of hypertension, supraventricular tachycardias. Um, mechanism of action, of course, blocking the voltage-gated calcium channels and resulting in peripheral vasodilation. Okay, thank you very much.